morning guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is caitlin as you guys can see from the title of today's video it's going to be a that girl morning routine so i wanted to come on and just talk about what i mean by that girl i know there's like a lot of just different opinions about this topic what i mean by that girl is just becoming your best self so anyone can be that girl this video is just going to be the habits that i do every single morning to make me feel like that girl or just like the best version of myself and also i feel like it's important to mention that the that girl trend to me is about like a feeling it's not like a look nothing like that just like a feeling inside of health wellness balance all of those things so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe also by the time you guys are watching this the first episode is out on my podcast also there's going to be another episode out tomorrow by the time you're watching this so definitely go check that out if you guys haven't let's get into today's video Good morning you guys. I have been waking up at like 7 a.m. The first thing I do every single day is make my bed. I just feel like it starts my day on a good note and then I always reach for my journal. This is the five minute journal. You guys don't need to buy this journal to have a good morning routine but I absolutely love this journal. It's just a really positive way to start the day. Okay, I'm about to do some skincare. This is like my favorite part of every, well, not my favorite part of every day, but definitely like one of my rituals for the morning is doing skincare. I have a lot of different products that I really like lately, but I wanna test out a lot of like clean skincare in the new year. So my routine is definitely gonna change throughout the new year, but right now I've been loving these three products. One is the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum. I love starting my morning with skincare cause I hate when I wake up and my face just like feels dry. I don't know, just like not a cute feeling. So I always do my skincare first thing in the morning, brush my teeth, wake up. I usually just like splash water on my face cause I just wash my face at night. Okay, the second product is my Super Gloop Go Screen. It's an SPF 40. Sunscreen is for sure something that I wear every single day. I literally don't go a day without sunscreen on and this specific product actually makes my skin look so good. I feel like it makes it look like glass. You just kind of have to try different products and see what works for your skin because something that works for my skin might not work for you and vice versa but this is like my favorite product of 2021. Last favorite product is the Laneige lip mask. Like I said, I just want to keep my skincare very simple. There's like some days like I do like self-care days and I do more products and stuff and I feel like it's like more fun but like my every single day just doesn't need to be like that complex so those are the three products that I've been using. I feel like very glowy right now. My lips are moisturized. Also, I feel like I'm going to get some questions about this PJ site. You can't really see their shorts, but I got it from Target like literally four years ago. So I don't know if they still have them. I'm going to look though because I'm pretty sure they do. I know there's like a super expensive pair on Revolve, but the next step in my routine is always just like hydrating, pretty much hydrating and caffeinating. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna make today is my water bottle, first of all. I'll show you guys I got it for Christmas. Second thing is caffeine. I think today I'm gonna do a matcha latte. I usually go back and forth between matcha lattes and coffees. I definitely have a coffee at some point throughout the day. I haven't like fully made the switch to only drinking matcha, which I don't really think that I ever will. But this morning I woke up and I'm just like craving a matcha latte, so that's what I'm gonna make. And then I'm also gonna get myself some water. Yum, staying hydrated. I like to drink some water before I drink caffeine, so I always do my water first. Now I'm gonna make myself a matcha latte, and then also, I got this new greens powder. It's AG1, it's athletic green. They sent me a bunch of them, and I've been having them, and I love adding it to my morning routine, so I'm gonna mix that. So I'm gonna have like three liquids going on. I'm gonna link everything that I just used down below. So in case you guys wanna use like the milk frother, the cup, literally anything, I'm gonna link everything down below. Also like the matcha brand and like greens powder brand and stuff like that. So this is so funny right now having three liquids. I'm also gonna have breakfast in like literally five minutes. I just wanna sit down for a second. Also, if you guys are wondering, Coco's right here. She always sleeps every single morning and she's a very heavy sleeper, like nothing wakes her up. Okay, this is the part of the morning where I usually just write in my journal, plan for the day, the week, like whatever it is. It's obviously always going to be different. I have a new planner. This is from Target. It's the same brand of planner that I used at the end of last year. It was so cute. Wait, babe, where's the like little one? What? I want to show them the little one that you got me. Okay, it's actually in the car, but Hunter for one of my stocking stuffers, he got me the exact same planner, but like small form. So if I like run to Starbucks or something, I can take that. 
I wanted to show you guys, but it's in the car right now because I haven't brought it in yet since being at my parents. But anyway, I'm excited for the beginning of the year because I love going through my planner and like filling in important dates, like writing different things I already started. I don't want to show you guys exactly what I wrote down just because these are like very personal goals to me. That got me very excited for the new year. But right now I'm going to fill out the week at a glance. It's like a to-do list. I'll link this exact one down below. Okay, usually for breakfast, I switch between like avocado toast, oatmeal, or smoothie. Those are like my three things I usually run to. But I think today I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on breakfast just because I have the time. And I'm filming this video, so I wanna show you guys this recipe because it's one of my favorite things ever. It's banana bread baked oats. If you guys haven't tried baked oats yet, you really need to, it's like my favorite thing. To start, you just need something that you can put in the oven. I'm actually gonna set the oven to 400 degrees. So yeah, we're gonna bake it. That's why it's called baked oats You can also use this recipe and just cook it on the stove top, but I swear it's like so good blended as baked oats I always use this little blender. I think it's Nutri Ninja. I'll link it down below I got it from Target. It's like one of the cheapest ones So I'm gonna put in one banana, but it has to be like a ripe banana These are like a week old and it makes it so much like sweeter next some oats About half a teaspoon of baking powder I'm also going to do like the lightest splash of almond milk, vanilla, and some cinnamon. Where's my cinnamon? Oh, the camera's literally on the cinnamon. Behind the scenes, I always use little like spice jars as my tripod, but cinnamon. I like to do a lot of cinnamon and a lot of vanilla. I'm very like random with my ingredients and stuff. I just don't really have patience to like, I don't know. So I just try and do whatever's fastest, but I'm gonna blend this up and then pour it into the jar. I also need to like coconut oil before I do it. While I have the baked oats in the oven, I'm actually gonna clean up the kitchen. I feel like if I just clean as I go throughout the day, I'm way less like, our apartment's just way less likely to get disgusting by the end of the day, which sometimes I don't clean as I go, but pro tip, definitely clean as you go because when I don't, it's just so much harder at the end of the day. So I'm gonna take some time to clean up the kitchen, clean the sink, put the dishes away, stuff like that. are done it's also so gloomy out today i really don't know why the weather like all week has been rainy which i actually love rainy weather it's just not good for like youtube lighting but let's take our first bite i actually like it when baked oats are kind of like gooey in the inside like i like it to be the oat texture but then the outside be a little bit crispy but if you don't like that you can leave them in for longer or like stir them and then put them back in mm. You will be addicted if you try these. This is like the time of day where I actually scroll on my phone and go on Instagram. I don't scroll on any social media 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night. That's just like what works for me, the 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at night. I feel like there's just like no reason to scroll in the morning. Also, I like to go and respond to comments in the morning. I love to go on there and like chat with you guys in the morning. It always puts me in a good mood. Okay, we're in my bedroom now. I'm gonna get ready for the gym. I'm gonna get a matching set. I always feel better when I wear a matching set. And I'll show you some of like the gym essentials that I always bring to the gym with me. I just work out at the gym at my apartment most of the time. I've been wanting to sign up for a gym. I just haven't yet. So for right now, I just work out at my apartment gym. It's nice, no one's ever in there. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do a Sammy Clark workout. I'll link it in the description box, the exact one I did. I do it all the time. If you watch my videos, you know this because I always show it. 
and yeah it's just like my favorite full body workout so i'll link that in the description so you guys can do it too i'll also include some clips at the gym today i just got out my matching set i've been wearing a lot of year of ours they have such good workout clothes um i'm gonna do a haul with them on instagram if you want to see more of their outfits i feel like the quality of their workout sets are really thick and i love them for working out and then i'm also bringing my beats sometimes i use my airpod pros which i actually prefer the beats i got these for christmas so i haven't had them for that long shout out my mom such a cute gift but yeah essential for the gym and then i usually bring my water bottle my big huge amazon water bottle but it's actually in the dishwasher that's why i didn't show you guys it this morning so usually i'd be bringing that and then sometimes i bring my aloe yoga mat but the workout that I'm doing today doesn't have a lot of fo floor work, so I'm not going to bring it. I really went full out on that workout. I really wanted to push myself to not even being able to talk after. So I think we reached our goal. Okay, I ended up heating up some leftovers for lunch. I made these, or I almost said zucchini, squash boats yesterday for lunch. I'll probably end up having like a smoothie or something in a little bit. That's what I did yesterday just because there's like no actual noodles in here. Even though it looks like pasta, it's actually not. It's just squash, which is a vegetable. Or it could possibly be a fruit because there's seeds in it. But this is one of my favorite foods. It tastes so good. I posted like a little TikTok recipe I'll link down below. So I'm going to have this. I also filled up my huge water bottle. And I'm excited. I also did some chicken sausage on the top. This is the Applegate chicken sausage. I'm excited. Okay, I'm finishing off the video exactly where I started it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Just a final reminder that this video is lighthearted. I just wanted to show you guys the habits that I do every single morning to feel my best. And obviously not every single day do I wake up and have like a perfect structured day. Some days like on weekends and stuff like that, I'll sleep in, go on my phone in bed, that type of thing. These are just things that I strive for. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a like, a comment. Again, my podcast is launched so you guys can listen to the first episode. Also, a new episode's coming out tomorrow by the time you guys see this video. So definitely go subscribe there. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you guys in my next video. The next question is the first thing to do to start your health journey. I would say the first thing that I would do is get clear on a goal. I'm a very goal oriented person. Like every single day I set goals and I feel like having a good idea of what you want out of a health journey is important and that's what's gonna motivate you on the hard